Awesome, that's better. Welcome back to Briar Quest. Quest? Quest. I don't know why I can't say it. I don't know why. Oh, I gotta get some light here. Give me some light. Really? That's all you go? Fine. We are not at my desk today. What is going on? What? We are in day two of Briar Quest week. The next episode is tomorrow. Go check it out. Last one of Briar Quest week, so go relish it. Today we are talking about music. Since I am going to school for music, might as well talk about it. Briar Quest school music. So if you don't like music, then um get lost. No, I'm just kidding. This will still be fun. You'll still like it. I think so. I hope. I hope you like it. So I just wanted to share with y'all what I've been learning at my fancy music school because I came all the way out here for music. You no, know, leaving my friends and family and you no know, pursuing my dreams just to come here. Yeah. Here's your basic one on one music lesson that I've learned from school. For example, I am doing voice stuff and I'm doing piano stuff. With my lovely piano. My parents got this for me for grad. Aren't they awesome? Oh, it's awesome. I love it. I'll share two things for voice. Oh, and two things for the piano because I'm learning so much here. Two things for voice. Um, one thing is that I suck at breathing. And I don't mean regular breathing because we all do that. And I'm still living. So, But I've always had a problem with being able to breathe properly in music. Um... It probably doesn't help that I have back problems and that I just don't sit up straight. So that's probably a big problem. But they've taught me here how to breathe properly. Good breathing. You gotta keep your knees bent because if you lock your knees for too long, you will faint. That happened to me before a performance. Thankfully, it wasn't during a German performance. That would have been really embarrassing. It was embarrassing, nevertheless. But. Bend your knees, okay? You want your chest comfortably high, but not your shoulders back so you're not sticking out your chest. You breathe from your stomach. It's okay to look fat. So you do look a little bit chubbier than normal, but singers can't be as big or small, but you can tell that they're breathing good when they look fat. I'm just kidding, I'm not fat. But when you're breathing, you want to be fat. So knees bent, chest comfortably high, See? Stomach, nothing from the chest. You shouldn't be doing this. <gasps> that won't give you anything because then you'll be like singing for two seconds. <gasps> so watch this. I couldn't do this before. So watch this. Okay, ready? That was good breathing. I hope I just showed you good breathing. I don't know. <laughs> I definitely couldn't go that long before, so <laughs> it's getting a lot better. Still working on it, but it's getting a lot better. How to present yourself while you're singing. I feel it's very awkward just to stand there because I want to do something. I want to put on a big show. All I want, well, usually there's a, a nice piano, and like this keyboard's nice. Like, I love it, but you know. Grand piano is beautiful. I love it. Just present yourself, you know, confidently. Like, having good posture helps a lot, which you're already doing while you're breathing, so half the battle. So, you just, you just have your head up high and you just sing. And I What you don't 
don't do is you don't be like That's just awkward and people have to be like, oh, they're nervous, you know, they're all fidgety and stuff. <laughs> so, two things that I've learned so far. I've learned so many more things, but I only have so much time. How to breathe properly and how to present yourself in a way that doesn't look corny. Moving on to the piano. Something that I always struggle with with piano is... Bringing out the melody. I just like to hammer away and just be like, da da da. That's not very artistic, is it? Just to. I've learned that you need to bring out the melody. So, for example, in what child is this? What I'm learning is to bring out the melody, which is for the first part, it's in my left hand. Which, for all you piano players, or anyone who's dominant in their right hand, know how hard it is to keep your left hand harder, not harder, louder than your right hand. So, I'll attempt this, but I might be wrong. And then it goes into my right hand. Which... It's very hard. <laughs> I'm still not quite there yet, you know, but work in progress. Also, I've been taught to not just play, but actually bring out the emotion in the song. So it's not just like... So, especially in a piece that I'm learning, like, what child is this? Um, you know, when you want to bring people with you, with your song and you just want to move them and just well, make them cry so it's more you know adding dynamics is definitely a big helper big 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 deal so it's instead of sounding like you're chicken pecking everything then it's better than chicken pecking, right? Now this is the final product of what, how I can apply myself at my fancy new school. Here you go.
that's all for today. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for joining me for Briar Quest Week. I hope you're having fun. I hope you enjoyed the last episode. And follow up next episode is tomorrow on Thursday. Guys, don't forget to share my videos. Share, like, and subscribe. Three things you must remember. Sharing is caring. And sharing also helps me spread my videos. The more people that see it, the more views I get. And then I can actually get paid to do this. And then maybe I can have higher quality videos. Or, you know, better equipment. That would be nice. Except for this. This is beautiful. So, guys, help me share my videos. Okay? This is my challenge to you. I want you to share if you like it. Okay? Share. I'm telling you now. Share it. Share, like, and subscribe these videos. Thank you for joining me. More Briar Quest episodes are down in the description. You can also check out my Facebook page and go like it as well. That's also in the description down there. Thanks for joining me.